Alrighty, one more update. If you guys don't know how most like tech interviews work, so typically what you have to do is um, they you do an initial phone interview where you'll do like a coding question. Uh, typically this interview will be about 45 minutes, so you might spend like 15 minutes talking about yourself and then the other 30 is for um, doing the coding question. And then once you make it through that round, they bring you on site and you do anywhere between four and six interviews back to back to back to back um and it's all very draining and you have to study a lot and i have other videos about that uh which you can look at um but i kind of just wanted to explain the process a little bit uh before you know the whole video started so yes enjoy okay hi hello um i'm looking a little busted right now but that be that's because i literally just had like the spark of inspiration so i'm about to start this series because i'm currently on a job hunt i'm a little nervous to post this because obviously i wouldn't want my current job to know that i'm on a job hunt but oh well i'm kind of just gonna film this and um just see where it goes so today i had my first interview and <laughs> i did not realize that it was an actual interview today i thought it was just a quick chat and I've had a lot of quick chats for the past couple weeks because I've been searching uh I started actually like like applying and you know getting the recruiting and booking stuff at at the beginning of, of November kind of a little after effort took so yeah I've been having a lot of quick chats and now I'm setting up like actual interviews so exciting nerve-wracking <sighs> yeah so I am going to be uploading like post interview stuff and like me studying for my interviews and just stuff like that it won't all be this terribly filmed uh but i just had to like film right now right now because i had the idea but yes please subscribe tell your friends we are on the road to just be top girl you know so here we go uh software engineer interview process hell here we go Hi, I'm back again because I'm not about to go do my makeup and stuff. This is real life, people. This is what it's like. I'm sitting in front of my laptop. That's what's lighting me right now. You know, it's just, it's real and it's raw. So like I said earlier, I had my first interview today. It was with a company called Go Forward. And I have to say, this, this company seems super cool. Somebody I totally would enjoy working for. It's low-key a startup. It's three years old. Me personally, I don't know if I would count that as a startup, but in, in terms of company-wise, I guess it really is still a startup. Um, let's see, I interviewed with one of the engineering managers. She was really nice, but I didn't realize that I was doing an actual interview, so I wasn't like in a code, 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 code challenge space. But, um, you know, I did it because did I have a choice? Did I have a choice? Um, and it wasn't really hard. It kind of just caught me off guard and like live coding freaks me out regardless. So I did my best to like, you know, calm my emotions. I did not finish the question. I did not finish it, but I was almost there. Um, but that's life, you know, round one, Molly Cesaria says sometimes you're going to have to lose. And today, I don't know. I don't think it was a terrible interview, but I probably did lose. But I also don't want to say that because I like to like manifest things into my life. So I want to say that I did it good. But I also want to be real with y'all and tell y'all what happened. So yeah, it seemed like a great place to work. Um, and a tip, you know, before I started this job search, I did not think that I would want to work at a startup. But this startup is just super cool so if i was to get a job here i would be a front-end engineer and that'd be super cool and super fun how many times can i say super and an, <laughs> an adjective behind it wait i don't think fun is an adjective uh i'm i'm not a writer so clearly but yeah, I just, I think that's all I wanted to say about that company. I, it just really seemed like a good place to work. So if I don't get the job, I definitely recommend you guys go and apply because it it just seemed nice, you know? So yeah, um, that is the end of my first interview experience. Day one, day one is done. Interview one is done. Oh, I sweated through my pants. That's how nervous I was. Uh, it was a video interview and... 
videos just get me in a way that like a phone or even an in-person wouldn't No, an in-person would probably have me the same way but that's never happened to me before maybe because it was so cold i don't know it was just wild i didn't realize it until i stood up after the interview but yeah so that's how nervous i was so hopefully that's the only time okay so i'm laying on my couch that's why my hair is flat on one side I'm supposed to be studying, but there's just so much stuff going on in my life right now that I'm just laying on the couch in literal disbelief. Uh, I've been rejected from two jobs. One of the jobs rejected me on a Saturday morning, so that was cool. Um, and honestly, I have just lost the will to even try. And I know it's like it's only two, but it's like two after interviews i've also had other rejections where i didn't even make it to get an interview <sighs> being an adult is hard bro like i hate it here i want to go home and like it's just extra hard because i have hated this job for so long like at like three months in i was like i hate this job like this sucks and I mean at first it was like oh my parents just spent all this money to move me here like they were already worried about me like being all the way in DC by myself so I'm like it's fine like it's just the first year like no big deal so then like I wait another year and it like it just still sucks I'm just like oh my god and, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I could have left. I, if I really, really cared, like, I could have still stayed in D.C., but part of me not interviewing again was just, like, feeling like this exact thing would happen to me. And so, like, I am literally living a nightmare right now. Like... And I know I have all this stuff, and I do all this stuff, and I'm always going places, but, like, and I'm, like, thankful for all that or whatever, but shit is hard, bro. Like, it's fine. It'll be fine. I'm really trying to adopt the whole Beyonce thing of how she only gives herself one day to be sad, but, like, if something bad happens every day... When do I have time to not be sad? Like, and that's the thing. Right now, I don't even have time to be sad. Like, I don't know if I'm going to put this video in the vlog. Because I, I never wanted to be the person that was losing it on camera. But then part of me feels like I should put it in the video. So that when people lose it, not on camera, and they're at home, like, they know. Like, you know, everybody, everybody loses it. Like Hannah Montana said in the climb, sometimes you're gonna have to lose. But bitch, I've been losing every day. Every day I've been losing. So like please subscribe to my channel so I can stop looking for a job. I can't do this anymore. Right, so I'm feeling better today. Yesterday was very rough for me. I mean it was <laughs> absolutely terrible. I lost it yesterday. Definitely, you know, broke down basically yesterday. Um, so I'm feeling better today, and I should, I absolutely should be studying. But it's just like hard. I hate studying. I'm an adult. This is why I left school. It's just really hard. Um, so I'm probably gonna do like a couple hacker ranks or leak codes or something today. But it's already nine o'clock. I have to do some stuff at work tomorrow. It's just all too much. So we'll see. We shall see. So here we are with another check in. I'm laying on my couch again because I'm so tired. Hello, Assad. I'm so tired. I've been like trying to keep up with my YouTube channel. Of course, go to work, study, do interviews while studying. Like, it's so much. And, like, I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. I I did something on Saturday. I did a coding challenge yesterday from a company. And 
the instructions weren't that good and then the challenge itself was like confusing because it was related to biology so it was like I had to realize what the biology was and then code the biology that it was asking me to code I don't want to be too specific because y'all might be able to guess like what company it is but it's just like it took me so long to even read the instructions and figure out exactly what this biological function was and then to code it and you know make sure it works and this and that so I did poorly on that and uh only got three out of 15 test cases working by the end of the hour but practice is practice is practice uh what else what else dang oh oh this was gonna say so Saturday I spent the entire day studying but I was like going nuts I spent five hours and I only did two problems now mind you like I might have got up and went to the restroom, maybe got a snack or something. Maybe even taken like two five-minute breaks, maybe a couple more. Oh. The point is, though, I was working all day Saturday, and I only got two problems done. So if you ever hit a roadblock, just know you're not the only one. And it was just like, I was just like, I really need to get this problem. And I did not want to look up the answer. I didn't want to look at the solution or anything. I just wanted to figure it out. So, yeah, that is my job check-in. I have to do another coding challenge right now. Actually, I should be doing it, but I'm just so tired. I need a break. Like, I go to work. I wake up. I get ready for work. I go to work. I come home. I take care of my dog. I cook myself some food. I post on my YouTube channel. Then I got to study too, like, and it's like, if it was studying, I'd be like, let me just get this out of the way. But since it's a coding challenge, it's a little bit of like nerves behind it. I don't know. Point is, I don't feel like doing none of this. Anyways, um, life is hard and I'm just trying to make it. Yeah, so I've been doing leak code for the past few days. I haven't uploaded about my interview journey in a while, but yeah, today... I've been doing leak code for the past few days, like, since getting back. Okay, yesterday was the first day since, like, a long time. <laughs> like, at least two weeks. Uh, I say, like, a, uh, a week and a half. A long time. Too long. But anyways, I read one of the posts on there about how this guy has been interviewing since 2016 and hasn't gotten a job. But at the same time, he only had 13... Uh, he only interviewed with 13 companies, so I would say over four years, that's not a lot, but it's still super discouraging. And then I read another post about how somebody got rejected from Google and all these other places. I don't know. And so now I'm just like really nervous. I actually have three interviews booked right now, one for Friday, one for the Friday after that, and then one for two Fridays after that. Um... And they're with the big companies, Google, Bloomberg, and Facebook. So I'm just like, <sighs> and I really want to get an offer by by March 1st, an offer by March 1st, which means basically I have to pass one of these interviews to have an offer by March 1st. Uh, and I'm really nervous that it's not going to happen. And now I'm super discouraged and don't want to study because I feel like I'm going to fail anyway. But like, if I don't study, then I'm definitely going to fail. But like, what if I study and fail anyway? Oh, oh, I hope that when I upload this video, um, it really helps somebody. Because I just feel like enough people do not talk about this part of the struggle, about the actual feelings. Like, I feel like everybody is like, yeah, it was so hard. Like, I had to study those problems and blah, blah, blah. But nobody, nobody talks about the emotional toll that this shit takes on you. Like, it is so fucking intense. And maybe I'm sensitive or something. I don't know. I just feel like... The stakes are very high for me, and I just really want to leave this job that I'm at right now. So let me get my ass into this damn Crack It and Code it interview book. I'll see y'all later. Oh my god. Okay, so 
I don't know what update number this is, but uh, on Friday I had another interview and I finished the question. And this is a big deal because it wasn't like a super easy, like it wasn't like a fizz buzz, like it was something I actually had to think about and think through. And also I've been working really slow and that's what's been like cutting me from these interviews, but oh my God. And this is a really big company, okay? I'm not gonna say who, but it is a fang company. And I just got an email that says they want to do another interview. I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, it's good because they didn't automatically say no. But it's not the interview where you get flued out. So, I don't know. And I'm, I'm going to call the recruiter tomorrow because I'm pretty sure, like, you do the first interview and then you get flued out. But maybe you do two interviews and then get flued out. I'm not sure. But, 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 this is a big deal. This is, like... Y'all, if you believe in yourself and you put in the work, things will happen. And I'm really excited. And no matter what happens in the second round, I'm still going to be proud of myself. But I think it's going to go well. And I think I'm going to get flued out. And you gr I have worked so much for this. Just don't give up on yourself. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. So I did a first round interview the other day. Um, and I got my rejection from it already. I was actually on Friday. <sighs> so yeah. Um, but you know what? What's well, funny. This is number four. Yeah. This is number four. I guess kind of number five, actually. Um, well, this is number five of 2020, but it will be number, like, eight of the search. Um, but I didn't really count the first ones because I hadn't prepared or anything, so that was kind of just, like, a practice round, and if something good did happen after it, it would have been cool, but it wasn't a big deal. But anyways, <sighs> I'm just here to say that this one really didn't hurt at all I don't know and I guess it's because I felt like I did my best I don't know it's just like I felt like I gave it what I could give it and if that wasn't good enough then that's that's okay and I guess the other thing is that now I really just have my plan like if I don't if this job search is not successful then I'm just gonna move back in with my parents like I'm not going to stay at this job that I really don't like and I'm straight up not having a good time at it for another year. So I guess either way, I will be out of my current situation and uh, you never know what might happen. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. So uh, while editing this video, I realized there's a big gap between January and February where I guess I just didn't take any videos. Um, now some of my like studying videos or the one study video i made is in between that gap um so that is like i guess a peak and i'll link that right here and then another thing is i had an interview every single friday in january so uh literally every single one i think i think i canceled an interview that i had on the 31st no i still have that one So the second weekend in January, that was the only time I didn't interview. I moved that one to like a later date. Um, so I took one weekend off in January. Did I though? Did I end up interviewing with somebody else? No, I took one one Friday off in January. Other than that, I was um, studying every day. Like I would come home, study for three to four hours. And then on weekends, I would spend my time at Starbucks or the library or whatever and study there. Sometimes I would leave my house also during the week. Um, but anyway, the, the point is I was spending four hours during the week and like eight hours on weekend days. So like Saturday and Sunday spending eight hours studying. So it was a very intense January. It was easily one of the least fun months of my life. I didn't drink. Um, I didn't hang out with people. I strictly said I'm not doing anything until I get a job offer. So I did all that stuff in January. Um, and then we move into February and I had not booked anything. I only have this one interview left, which is the interview you will hear about in this next clip.
Hey y'all, me again. Um, I am four days out, I guess, from my final round interview with the big company. Um, and I've been trying not to psych myself out, but it's really hard. And uh, I have been reading people's interview experiences and I'm like, I don't know if I can do all those things. But all I can do is my best, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I mean, I'm still studying up until that day, and I, it'll probably be a sleepless week, to be honest, but I mean, I just really need to get this job. Like, I want this job hunt to be over so bad. Like, I was really confident before, confident in, in my knowledge, I'll say, not like super cocky, like, oh, I'm gonna get this, in, I'm gonna kill this interview, no doubt, like, not like that, but just like, okay, I'm like doing really well, like, I feel like... All these other interviews that I've done and failed, like I've learned a lot. Um, and I, I feel like that prepped me for this one, but I just don't know. And so I still have a lot of prep to do in these last four days. Thankfully, I don't have too much work at my current job. And I'm just hoping that, I'll be honest and say that I'm hoping that this is a formality since I already talked to the hiring manager and the person that's above the hiring manager. <sighs> but I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this is one of the last check-ins and y'all will see this entire montage of my struggle and if not, then there will be more struggle videos after this. But eventually, there will be a success video. So, yeah. So, on Friday is my really big interview. And I'm really nervous. And I've been trying to be really positive and, like, manifest the best thing. But after reading a bunch of stories and stuff, I just don't know. And at this point... Or just in general, I'm surprised that I even made it this far. Like, I don't know. I'm ready for this to be over. And I really feel like I'm giving up after this if it doesn't work out. Like, I'm tired. This is kind of a bad angle. I wish I wouldn't have shot it at this angle but that's what happens when I film these videos it's kind of just like when I feel like talking so oh I need to be packing but I'm like so overwhelmed right now work was work has been crazy of course the job search has been crazy and well the job search is really winding down because this is my last interview basically I don't have any lined up after this and um I only have two letters left in Fang to interview with. I've been rejected by F, A, G, wait, F, oh, well, okay, I've been rejected by Facebook, Apple, I mean, shoot, Facebook, Apple, and Amazon. Uh, and Bloomberg. So those are those are ones I've already done. Those are my rejections. Hashtag share your rejection. Um, so this next one is like kind of one of the last few big tech companies that I have. And I don't know. I mean, making it this far is definitely a big deal. But I just want to make it all the way. I'm so tired. Alrighty, so... <laughs> So I do have some more footage from like during this last interview and the thing about this last interview is that it was the last one y'all like I booked this interview and then the LinkedIn messages just stopped coming in recruiters start stopped reaching out to me and I was like oh my god like I wasn't getting any callbacks from the applications I submitted I was just like oh my god like this is really my last shot like this is crazy um and so, spoiler alert, the last company that I interviewed with is actually the company that I ended up accepting an offer from. Um, but I don't want to tell y'all just yet because everything hasn't been finalized yet. So, I can't insert that footage, so I'll make another video because I'm excited to tell y'all where it is. But, um, 
I just don't want to put it in this one, but I did want y'all to see the interview process and how terrible it was. And I mean, you saw the videos earlier um, when I just, you know, had something in my eye, like a twig or a branch. It was just like a really, really hard time. So <laughs> don't get discouraged if you are currently looking for jobs. Just know that it's like really intense for everybody um and you are not alone like make sure you are using all the resources that you can uh you can watch my video on that right here i might even make another one um and also i am going to upload like more coding challenges just explanations of them because i feel like you can never have enough explanations that's something i did a lot i watched this youtube channel called back to swee he does pretty good explanations um, when it comes to those coding problems. And then I also like would just look up random stuff to learn like um, like the sorting functions or like the sorting algorithms and the searching algorithms. That's what I was trying to say. The searching algorithms. So yes, yes, this is the end of the video. I promise y'all I will be back. As soon as I hear word that I can announce it, I will announce it, but I just haven't yet, so. I will let y'all know which company it is. Um, leave in the comments below, leave in the comments below what company do you think it is that I'm going to. Um, and I'll let you know if you're right in the next one. All right, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.